Hello, I'm Ethan and I'm the creator of Quest Game Tuner. In this guide, I'll show you how to install Quest Game Tuner on your headset, without developer mode or a computer. Keep in mind, if you have access to developer mode and a Windows PC, it might be easier to perform the initial installation using SideQuest, or to complete the whole setup process using the Windows PC installer. For headset-only installation, we start by opening the MetaQuest browser. Next, we search for Quest Game Tuner, open the itch.io page, and scroll down until we see the installation guide. Click it. Now, somewhere on the page, we should see a GitHub link. This will let us download Quest Game Tuner without having to log in to itch.io on our headset. However, just downloading the file isn't enough to install it. We'll need an app from the MetaQuest store called Mobile VR Station. It's completely free. So we'll open it, get it if we haven't, and then download. It'll take a minute to finish. And then once it's downloaded, we can click Start to open it. You might get a prompt when it opens, if so, click Allow, and then wait for it to continue loading. When it first opens, we'll get some information about the app. Click the red button to close that. And then in order, click Configuration Wizard. I'm here to mod. Configure Scope Storage. Request Access. You will get this Files window. You'll see Quest 2 Android data. We want to click Quest 2. Next, click Download to open your Downloads folder. You'll see the Quest Game Tuner APK you downloaded here. Click this Enlarge button to open it. Then click Continue and Install. Once this finishes installing, we click Done and then close this window. At this point, that will also close Mobile VR Station. We're done with it. We now want to open our library, go to Applications, and then switch from All to Unknown Sources. It might show 0, 1, or some other number. That's fine. You'll then see Quest Game Tuner on the list. Click that. And you'll be prompted to enter your license key. Once you enter in your key, you'll be brought to the setup process. We're going to want to close any windows other than Quest Game Tuner and click Open Device Info Settings. We'll see a Settings app and Quest Game Tuner next to each other. Click Continue. We want to go to the bottom of Settings and then click this bottom button until we stop getting new text here. Then close the Settings window and click Continue again. We'll now see a different Settings window in Quest Game Tuner. If your language isn't English, you can identify the Settings window by the blue banner up top. Next, click Continue. We want to scroll down about two pages until we find wireless debugging. If your language isn't English, look for the blue text, a switch, a space, and a switch. The correct switch has a small vertical line next to it. We want to click to the left of that line. Then click Continue. Now we want to turn the switch on. We'll get a pop-up click the blue Allow button. Next, click this button with the dots that says Pair Device with Pairing Code. Click Continue once more. Now we need to enter this number and the last five digits of this number into the Quest Game Tuner window. This will be different for everyone. When you do that, Quest Game Tuner will automatically activate itself and set up. Now, you should see automatic tuning settings for all your games. If you want, you can click a game, choose what to optimize for, or disable tuning, manually tune to whatever settings you wish, or click here to access the full settings menu. Thank you for watching, and enjoy Quest Game Tuner!